So on Super Lucky's Tale was first announced and we've seen our first trailer, I really kind of like the look of what Microsoft was trying to do with Playful Studios. Now I kind of think that that's one thing that Microsoft may be missing is kind of like a little cuddly mascot and a proper platform that we can actually get to play and enjoy. Now in Super Lucky's Tales you get to play as Lucky the Fox and he comes from a long line of guardians who are sworn to protect the Book of Ages. Now the kind of goal or the actual mission in the actual game is fairly simple. You have to try and get your sister back and to retrieve the Book of Ages. Now it's not the most engaging or thrilling story but it's all a matter of collecting four leaf clovers and there's 99 of them to collect. Now, these four leaf clovers are scattered across all the different worlds that you visit and that makes up your adventure. Now like I said Super Lucky's Tales is a platforming title and it kind of reminds you of Crash Bandicoot or Mario but it kind of sides more on the easy side of things compared to those two titles. Now Lucky's moves are, don't really have much variety in the actual game. You do get your standard kind of jump, double jump and spin attack but this is where Lucky actually whips his tail around and attacks the enemies and you can also jump on top of them as well like other titles. Now what Lucky can do, he, since he's a little fox, he can actually bury and bury himself under the ground, just kind of like a mole, and this is how he can find more hidden coins, or he can also do certain damage to enemies. Now it's a kind of perfect game to pick up and play if you've got like small kids, because um, they really like how the game plays, and it's like kind of bright and colourful as well, which I thought was really cool. Um, and it has a kind of right amount of variety as well to kind of keep them entertained. Now there was one thing that I didn't really like about it, and hopefully they might do something maybe in an update what would be the camera system now you do get to control it from a certain degree like you can kind of move a left or right or right or left but it can kind of make certain jumps awkward or clunky when you're going from platform to platform or jumping on these kind of bouncing balloons and with the game mostly set in a 3d world i thought it would have been a bit more perfect if they gave you a fully working 360 degree camera because it'd make those jumps or jumping from platform to balloon a little bit better. Now I know it's nothing kind of game breaking but it does get annoying at times especially in certain levels when you're trying to get to the end or you're trying to get those um, lucky letters. Now in each of the, the games and each of the missions that you're going through like the levels they're quite kind of open and some of them have side objectives. Now while the main goal of each level is trying to get the four leaf clover at the end you do get certain things that you can do like little missions where you have to kind of get these chickens into like a chicken coop say for instance and that will give you more coins or it might even reveal a letter now throughout the levels you'll these letters that i'm on about do spell out the word lucky kind of like the way crash did in, in some of his older games and once you spell lucky then you, you're entreated to a shamrock uh, not a shamrock sorry a four leaf clover these other four leaf clovers can be found there's kind of these mini puzzle solving games and they're involved kind of moving statues so wait, where these are found you can kind of normally go into foxholes so you'll see foxholes scattered around the area and once you go into them they're kind of like hidden levels like bonus levels and they're either treated to kind of extra coins or like i said when you once you reach the end you'll get like a four leaf clover because some of them are kind of speed runs as well now at any time if you wish you can also repeat the levels of each world as many times as you want just in case you miss something because probably for three or four playthrough of each level there probably will be certain things you'll miss like not reaching enough coins or you might miss maybe a certain letter from a, the lucky letter the lucky word sorry um, each of the door does have four icons on the bottom when you finish them and you'll notice that they light up depending on what you've achieved so it's kind of easy to keep track on what you've missed or what you've got now i think the levels um in the actual worlds and lucky's environment is well designed and uh, they do give you kind of a bit more to kind of jump around they're kind of more open and um, you'll also find that some of the levels that kind of move from side scroller format and then go back to 3d world now it gives you a variety in each level but it wouldn't be kind of too much I was kind of hoping that they give you a bit more because there's so much more that you could do with the game and um, once you complete the, each level you'll you do meet an encounter boss from the kitty litters and it kind of presents like a little bit of a challenge but it wouldn't be too taxing for adults like i say more children it's aimed at and um, they'll find it a little bit struggling but once you kind of figure their patterns and what way they jump and what way they move they're very easy to defeat and it's kind of straightforward once you figure it out now when Super Lucky's Tales it is an extremely colourful game like I said and some of the level design is done pretty well and um, the colours are vibrant and all like and the character himself Lucky is done very well he's kind of really cute and cuddly and the way he talks now and um, some of the levels do feel kind of similar within each world and what I did kind of find as well was the enemies do get very repetitive very very quickly now add to this like and not being able to move the camera like this kind of there's not really else to complain about like I really had a good time playing the game it's extremely fun and like if you're like me and you've got smaller kids in the house and um, they'll love playing it with you as well so you kind of get more enjoyment when you're playing with them and it's especially a lot of fun and I think it's definitely worth adding your collection especially if you've got younger kids like me 
Um, it's definitely one game now. I hope Microsoft and Xbox let the developers run with, and hopefully we get a kind of franchise in the future. Cause, and we're lucky at start. Because the kind of thing Microsoft is in need of a kind of some sort of cool mascot, and hopefully get to see more of them in the future. So, what do you think is Super Lucky Tail? Would it be kind of like a game that you would like to play? Um, do you think they could use smaller kids that you think they'd love to play or is it just not your kind of game? You're kind of hoping that Microsoft release another kind of platformer or they can get maybe another platform in the future. Or would you like to see more of Lucky in maybe for the games and hopefully that with Xbox and with Playful Studios that you make a franchise out of it and hopefully get something better and bigger in the future. Um, if you like the review, hopefully you do. Um, I'd really appreciate if you leave a like on the video and maybe put a comment down below if you like the review or if you'd like me to do more reviews or even what you thought of the game because I'd like to hear what you thought of the game yourself and if you've enjoyed playing it. So if you liked the video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and maybe check out some more of my content. I am hoping to do more reviews um, before the end of the year. And if there's any kind of game that you would like me to review or give me your opinion on, just leave a comment down below as well. And I really appreciate it for stopping by. Thanks for watching.